My name is Caitlin and welcome back to Festlix Fridays. Today is November 6, 2020, which happens to be National Nachos Day. Now, while you watch this video, think about who you are as a person. Who are you? What do you want from life? Ask that question. And once you know the answer, write it down. Write down exactly what you want for your life, your life vision, your life purpose. And once you have that, go over it every single day. Every single day. Create pictures in your mind. Write down how you're going to get that life. What do you have to do to claim that life? Who do you have to become to claim that life? You see, most people when asked that question can't answer it. Most people when asked, what do you want from life, cannot answer that simple question. They don't know what they want from their own life. They're just wandering around here aimlessly. Most people don't even know what they really want from their own life. And guess what people who don't know where they're gonna end up, end up someplace they don't want to be. That does not have to be you. The first key is to get quiet. Get in a space alone and ask yourself, who am I? What do I really want from my life? What do I need to do to live my best life? What is my purpose? Why must I do this? What example do I set to everyone around me, especially those I love, those close to me? What legacy do I want to leave? Once you have that clarity and clear purpose, you can get to work, making every day your best day, growing and evolving every day, setting the example of a great life every day. Loving is the life you are living every day. Day. Claim that life today. Don't put it off any longer. You deserve this. Well, what do you mean, famous? I know that I'm on like best flicks. Every week, but do they really love they me that much? Really wanna go. Well, yeah. But if you get they me out, you get a show. Wait, are you talking about There's like so money things? On the floor, money? So baby, we should uh, go baby, with us. Me. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna talk to my manager about that. I'll catch up later. Okay, oh, hey, this flyers. Let's act like I was not just talking to a banana like I'm Come famous. Come like, catch me if you can. Well, no, you don't have any games, other Are you done? Anyways, it is now a new month. It is now November. And it's also going to be a bit different of a climate change than October was. It is going to be more chilly outside than sunny. Also, it is also going to be more chilly at nighttime than morning and the afternoon. Also, I would also bring yourself a blanket to keep it from shivering or to stay cold while you are sleeping. So make sure you bring yourself just a blanket while you are heading to sleep. Are you thinking about heading outside this weekend? Well, 
if you're thinking about hanging out with your friends or just sitting on the balcony and watching the sunset, getting yourself a jacket or a sweater from catching a cold. Well, since it's going to be chilly this weekend, Sunday is going to be the highest of 62 degrees while Saturday is giving us the low of 57 degrees. There's also going to be 10% chance of rain this weekend and it's also going to be pretty breezy outside this weekend. Also, next week is going to be about the same as this week, but just more chilly outside. So again, bring yourself a sweater or a jacket. Well, since I'm so good at acting, shouldn't I be an actor? I need an Oscar. Oscar would be amazing. Oh, my acting is so good. Johnny, Johnny, please don't leave me. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Touchdown. Well, what are we waiting for? We might as well just go head over to my lane. Johnny, Johnny, please. Let's go head over to my lane. Here's my lane. for that amazing weather report. Good morning, Fast Flyers, and welcome back to another sports report. We have come back to a World Series winner. The Dodgers have won the World Series. They won after six heart-wrenching games. The final score was 3-1. They have not won a World Series championship since 1988. We can now say that the Dodgers have won seven World Series championships. We definitely deserved it after that cheating fiasco with the Astros. The moment happened when Julio Diaz threw the final pitch. Dodger fans across the world watched and celebrated this amazing win. Congratulations Dodgers from the bottom of my heart. Now on to the other champions. The Las Vegas Raiders played Sunday November 1st against the Cleveland Browns. The Raiders won 16-6. They overcame weather conditions and defeated the Browns. Their next game is this Sunday, and we will be playing the Chargers. The game will be at 105, and you can watch it on Fox. So don't forget to tune in. Let's talk about one of the least recognized sports. Golf is a great sport. The 2020 Masters Tournament is through Thursday, November 12th, and Sunday, November 15th. This year it's a little different. There will be no Patreon. So make sure you don't miss it. That's it for the sports report this week. Like always, have a good Friday. And just a friendly reminder, go Raiders. Just win, baby. Now on to Laura Lane with clubs and activities. Thank you, Mylene, and hello, Flyers. Today, you're talking for a I'm going to be telling you about yearbook. So, if you want to be in the yearbook, take a selfie, a portrait, or you and your friends, and you do the work. Also, with you and your mask. You can send those in to Mr. Wright. He will gather them up and put them in the yearbook. And we also have a spot for Festworks. It is called Fess's Funny Family Videos. Try to do that 10 times fast. So, that you can send in a video of you and your family just having fun or something that really is funny and cheesy and you think other people would laugh at. You can send those in to Miss Wright and we're probably going to put it in best book. So, come try that out. And on to your bad five with Leo. This week on Fab Five, we have a teacher, Miss Han. Miss Han teaches sixth grade science here at Best. First is that she grew up in Border City, but graduated high school in Alberta, Canada, and she lived in London, England for four years. Next is that she loves to travel. She's been throughout Australia six times, rafted down the Colorado River three times, and she's also been to Wales, France, Greece, and Mexico. Next is that her dad is a scientist. He is a geologist and he's taught at UNLV for 35 years. That's crazy. Next is that she loves to bake. She loves putting smiles on people's faces and making awesome cakes. 
Lastly, but certainly not least, she loves her family. She has two sons, ages 20 and 18. She has a stepdaughter who is 8, and a cat and a dog. That's it for this week on Fast Five. Make sure to stay tuned each week to learn more about your celebrities inside and out of Fast. Now, on to Evelyn with What's Up Fest. to another episode of What's Up Fest. Today I'm going to be talking about pumpkin flavored foods. So if you'd like to hear about those, then just keep on watching. So first let's start off with Chick-fil-A because I know a lot of you like Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A has a fudge brownie and mocha cream cold brew. Next, McDonald's. McDonald's has a pumpkin spice latte and pumpkin cream pies. Next, Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box has a pumpkin spice latte. Dairy Queen has a pumpkin cookie butter shake. I'm gonna have to go try that. Next, Baskin Robbins. Baskin Robbins has a pumpkin cheesecake ice cream. Next, Starbucks. Starbucks has a pumpkin spice latte that also comes with a Christmas reusable cup. By the way, there's different ones and they are collectible. And last but not least, Dunkin'. Dunkin' can add a pumpkin flavor swirl to any coffee of your choice. They also have pumpkin donuts and donut holes. Last but not least, Duncan has a pumpkin chai spice latte. These things all sound good to me. So if there's one you really like, make sure to go try it before it falls over. Have an amazing Friday and amazing weekend fest flyers. Bye! Let's have an understanding. Now what? Brother, what a way to run a railroad. Now, as I was saying... 